Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We know the team of the season schedule by now. We get TOTS releases on Friday. We get TOTS cards also released on Sunday. And the cards that are being released today, do not sleep on these cards, guys. I want to tell you ahead of time because with the leaks that we have and I think the potential that is there with not only really some hidden gems that could be released, just like last week we had a Real Mourinho and Anderson Talisca. This week I think there's going to be some really great cards released and also maybe some higher rateds for fodder purposes. We'll look at that in today's video. And of course, the big content for today is most likely the Icon SBC, which I think the same Icon SBC refreshing is what we should be expecting today on this game. We'll talk about that 90 plus icon pack that is good value refreshing today on this game and another daily icon player SBC for a team of the year icon. And at the very end of the video, I want to talk about something crazy, maybe an SBC for a player of the season award given to the winner of that award from the Premier League. So Erling Holland SBC. We'll see and talk about it, but there's a lot going on right now in this game. If you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's quickly go over yesterday's content because it was a pretty quiet Saturday. There were some market movements that I want to cover, but we did get a second Icon Player SBC. Pushkas, we knew this was coming. Of course, inside of this SBC, once again, is the loan version. Five game loan, that's how you get the XP if you're chasing that. Now this SBC, to a lot of people's delight, is a lot better priced than the Ronaldinho SBC, but is it? I want to take a look at this because I think the reason people are liking this Pushkas SBC is just because the card itself is a lot cheaper and it seems a lot more feasible to pay 1 million coins for a Pushkas on an SBC whose card is actually a little bit less than that on the market than it does to pay 4 million for a Ronaldinho. I think that's why this Pushkas SBC is being upvoted a lot by a lot of people inside of here. Also, this Pushkas card is Probably the best version we're going to see of him in the game this year. The five-star weak foot upgrade. He is an auto finisher. Very great dribbler. Very great just at everything in the striker position. So, Pushkas, this is a very attainable Pushkas, and I understand why people like that. I just want to say that I feel like this SBC is getting some extra love because it is a cheaper value icon and it's more completable for so many people, right? Ronaldinho being four mil, that's crazy. This SBC being one mil, okay, it is what it is. Now, is the price actually that good? Pushkas is 950,000 coins on the market. He was about 1.2 mil before the leaks of this SBC first were dropped. So when we're seeing these SBCs that EA are putting out day after day, we really have to look at their prices before the leaks because that seems to be where EA are kind of basing the price of that SBC off of, just a little bit lower than the price pre-leaks. So that was the content yesterday. We, of course, had the TOTS Challenge uh, XP that was dropped as well. TOTS Challenge 6 for an untradeable pack, not tradable. So that didn't really impact the market that much. We also didn't see, like we were hoping to see and maybe expected to see, the big icon packs in the store. Now, we did have the 500k Elite Pack. This seems to be a staple of the store these last couple of weeks during Team of the Season. It's here again, the 100 Rare Gold players with an 81 plus uh, for all of them, right? You're oh, only 88% of a Team of the Season. This is exactly showing what we thought was happening in yesterday's video. This pack only having 88% chance of a Toss player just goes to show that the pack weight for La Liga Team of the Season is down because that pack last week and during Prem Tots was like 92 or 93%. So it is more difficult to pack these La Liga cards and that is confirmed right there. Now talking about packing Team of the Season cards, like we mentioned, there are new Tots cards coming into packs today. Let's turn the corner, talk about what's going on today in this game and why I think you shouldn't sleep on these cards guys. Now again, like I said, I might be a little bit biased, but we're getting the MLS team of the season cards dropped in the game today. First thing I'll say is the EA and the MLS have a really tight partnership. They kind of, um, coordinate together on a lot of things. A lot of MLS things make their way into FIFA, right? We have the EMLS stuff with the TFOs, all sort of that. So I think today there could be an, a little bit of extra juice and, and maybe there's a couple regions for that on some of these cards. Now, it looks like with these leaks, EA is basing this MLS team of the season off of the last year's performance. It's kind of the last year's um, season and not the current season that is going on in MLS. For that reason, I do think Hany Mukhtar might be be the highest rated card and this is a card I think is going to be incredibly 
incredibly overpowered in this game. And I want to look him up. He's already got a player moments card from earlier on this year. He has got a base five star weak foot, base three star skills. If they were to make this card five star, five star today, and I mean, you look at his base stats already 90 pace, 87 dribbling on this 87 rated card. If he's going to a 93 or a 94, this could be a insane card even if he's four star five star you got the german links you could very easily link him with a lot of players that maybe are in your club after the bundesliga team this season he's explosive on all chemistry styles um, unless they boost his strength up a lot but this could be a really really good card he's got the technical dribble trait and flair as well so if they add some traits there I'm really excited for that Mukhtar card because I think in FIFA, he could be really, really insane. And then you've got another German left back with some pace. Uh, Wagner could be a really, really good card. There's a, multiple players in here from uh, the Philadelphia Union. They had a great season last uh, season. Um, USA striker Jesus Ferreira. Now, here's what I want to talk about with the rest of this team. I'm not going to talk about this team for the whole entire video. I know not a lot of you guys are going to be excited as me about this because this is the MLS Tots. But... I just wonder that if EA is going to juice up this MLS team of the season in terms of the ratings, not necessarily all the stats on the cards, but the overall ratings on the cards, I wonder if they're going to juice it up just a little bit because uh, of the fodder aspect, right? If you think about it, a lot of fodder has been going up in the 92s, the 93s, and even like the 90, uh, even the, yeah, 93 Brandt, right? It's 50,000 coins. He was 35K last week. If EA wanted to try to control the fodder market today on this game, what they could do is juice up these cards a little bit more instead of just doing 88s and 89s and 90s like we have seen recently in the secondary league TOTS cards, right? We've seen the Air Divisi TOTS cards in Saudi League, a lot of 90s, 89s, 88s inside of here. Of course, you've got the Ronaldo, you've got the Talishka, but you look at Air Divisi as well. You've got a 93 Simons, a 92 Tadic, and then a lot of 88s, 89s, and 90s. I could see EA today doing a lot of like 90s, 91s, and 92s for this MLS TOTS team to kind of bring some more fodder cards on to to this game. These guys are going to be pretty cheap, right? Secondary League of Tots. That could potentially drop some of those cards today on that Tots tier of fodder. I just kind of want to point that out because this also impacts the fodder market today as well. Um, maybe the joint highest rated card in this team, Carlos Vela. That's going to be a really, really nice card with some links there. Also, finally, some links for the Gareth Bale end of an era card. If you still have that, he's probably one of the most popular super subs in this game. This Almada, if he gets five-star skills, is going to be a certified rat in this game with very high dribbling. He's very short. He'll be very, very good good um a center back here with some nice interesting links you could say but 99 physical don't know what his base card has for stats but that's pretty crazy and then blake so it's not gonna be an insane team of cards today but it could be pretty good another reason to link if you still have that end of an era gareth bale in your squad and you didn't mud him into an sbc you're gonna get multiple reasons to link him today with chiellini being a tots moments card hopefully he's got a little bit more pace than that but that could be especially with Serie A team of the season upcoming in a couple of weeks some italian links that could be useful as well uh and i'm just a fan of this of course because it is the MLS. So I'm not trying to talk about MLS Tots for a crazy amount of time today, but watch to see how they juice these cards and, of course, um, how much you know juice in terms of the skill move and weak foot they do for a lot of those cards as well. There's going to be a couple of really meta cards, kind of like the Talisca, kind of like the Romarino, that are going out of packs. So just kind of want to talk about that today because those guys will be in packs. Maybe an SBC for a player for them as well today too. There's no leaks there, but that could, of course, happen. Now, the big SBC that is on hand today, that I'm I'm basically expecting this to return, guys. Um, you know, I just don't see something else replacing this because there's nothing else added to the code unless they were to bring back an old pack. And especially if it's a hero player pick right now, it doesn't make sense. This whole promo is all about the icon SBCs, right? They're really pushing the icon hype. That's why I think this 90 plus icon, especially since it was new last week, the prime foot birthday team of the year and trophy titans being included in that 90 plus uh, plus sbc i think it's going to come back today now what i'm really curious to see is do they just refresh the exact same sbc with the exact same requirements because if they do we're going to know exactly where to invest once again for this sbc today we need to invest in my opinion because fodder prices here 
are looking pretty low. And I'm glad that we talked about in last night's video saying, hey, maybe we wait, maybe to buy a couple cards, but maybe we wait in total until Sunday for a real good investment here because you can see 85s had a bit of a jump yesterday at content, but they're back down now even lower in the low 7K range. This is not as cheap as they were last week, guys. If you look at the graph, yes, they were under 7,000 coins last week. They were about 6K, but they went all the way to 10.2K and 11K uh, during the week last week. Fodder is going to maintain a higher price now heading into the next week or two at least with all of these Icon SBCs being out. That's just more natural demand for these fodder cards. So I think we're looking at really good buy prices for kind of the changing narrative of fodder in this game. 83s, 84s, 85s, 86s. I'm even going to start doing a little club stock myself right now. I think especially the 85s could be really, really good today. We saw last week 85s go all the way up to match the price of 86s. Now, the reason they did that was because there was a specific 80 uh, five rated requirement inside of those SBCs. And yes, these prices rising up this week matter upon a lot of things. Whatever player SBCs we get, if we get any sort of like player picks or extra packs, which I'm still kind of waiting on. Remember like last year and previous years of team of the season, we would get like some league specific player picks and, and stuff like that to give ourselves like at least a an increased chance of packing a team of the season card. I'm still holding out a little bit of hope for something like that, or even like an 85 times three that you can do as an SBC. That sort of SBC could make these cards rise up a lot, but it would start today on the market with these rises. It would start today with an icon SBC, especially because last week that 90 plus and the one that we have expiring today, hopefully getting refreshed, if they do the exact same requirements, it is pretty good value and it's pretty cheap and a lot of people can do it. Now, it would also probably impact, once again, some of your Trophy Titans icons. And we saw that multiple times when this SBC was first dropped. A lot of these icons did have a drop in price. Roberto Carlos, I remember, went down even on a Friday, just a couple days ago. When this SBC refreshed, Baresi was a card that went down a bunch right when the SBC refreshed. He went from like 300 and I think 30 or 340,000 coins all the way down to like 300 flat, right? So I could see some sharp drop-offs around the content time today on some of these icons like Foot Birthdays, Trophy Titans, specifically Trophy Titans, because these are the new cards that are added to the, the pack, right? So I don't think it'd be crazy drops today, especially since that SBC is not brand new, but there could be some good flips to be had today there if you trade with some of the meta market and some of those icons. So beyond that SBC today, our daily icon player SBC, who is it? We have a leak. We think we know who it's going to be. Unless it's a change, we should be getting team of the year, Makalele, which technically his card on the market right now, this is going to be the cheapest uh, icon SBC that we've had yet. He's a 250,000 coin icon. This is another reason to invest um, in this fodder for today. Again, daily icon player SBCs. This is the next one that is leaked. Uh, it is a French uh, SBC that is leaked, so we assume it's Makalele, and this is again what FIFA Trading Romania posted earlier this past week, leading up to um, this week of TOTS. So, Makalele SBC today, again, what are they going to price this at? I hope it's somewhere around 200,000 coins. It could be a little bit more than that, uh, and that's just kind of a cheaper one that I think will be re well received because it's just a France defensive midfielder with really good French French links, especially heading into League One team of the season next week. That could be a very nice card to have there. So another reason to go on club stocks and fodder, 83s all the way up to maybe 86s and 87s you can include in there as well. And even for the high tier fodder, let's talk about this for a second. I still like 88s at like 15K, 89s at 19K if you can get them there on bids. Again, I would be a little bit careful with 90s and above. If the new TOTS cards come out today are specifically in that range and they get to fodder prices really fast, it could make those prices just drop a little bit. But I wouldn't. I don't think it would uh, impact them that much because there's still a lot of demand right now for the Dino, for the Pushkas, and all that high-rated fodder. So that's kind of what's going on today in the SBCs we would expect. Now let's talk about the market because La Liga team of the season cards, they did drop off yesterday. They did. And um, there were some coins to be made. I remember seeing, I didn't actually trade with it myself. I was kind of off of the game for most of the day. Um, yesterday, I saw Federico Valverde start the day at like 1.1 or 1.2 mil in the early hours of Saturday morning, drop all the way down to like under 900K 
and then come roaring back up in price to about a million coins. Look at this drop off 1.19 all the way down to 870 at the content drop and then boom, a rebound back up. This is a common trend that we see when you see a crazy amount of panic selling on a Saturday during the day for a pretty expensive and rare card. A lot of times that's just a bunch of undercutting and maybe people that were trying to flip the card and trade with it, they just undercut to get out because it's just dropping a ton. But then when content on Saturdays is a quiet day, we didn't have a big store pack yesterday. We didn't have a huge SBC, right? This card goes bouncing back up. And again, I try to mention this, um, you know, for trades on, on Saturdays, we've done this multiple times and I've made really good coins and in previous weeks and years doing this. Uh, look at these top tier meta cards with the panic that was heading into 6 p.m. I think people were really fearing for that icon pack or maybe the push got SBC impacting a lot of the market. Lewandowski went from 880 all the way to 700k back up to 800,000 coins. He's back down now to about 700k, which could potentially be a flip into today as well. That was kind of a similar movement that we saw for a decent amount of the market. But still, guys, these loud league team of the season to me are still very expensive. I just think it's the pack weight that is so very low and their prices have dropped, but for me, they need to drop more. And I don't think I would be playing uh, on the holding game with these cards. I would not hold on to these cards for too much longer uh, if I had them than today. I think they will probably drop even lower into tonight on Sunday, maybe have a little bit of a rise tomorrow. But again, kind of the thing we talked about at the end of last week, I'm probably not going to be trading with any of these La Liga Tots cards uh, between tomorrow and Monday after content and like Wednesday because they just seem to drop during the middle of the week, especially if the EA are going to drop that icon pack sometime in the store uh, and create some panic or if they're going to do some sort of like player pick like they did for Bundesliga. These cards just seem too expensive for what they should be right now. And I think that is going to mean their prices will drop off later on this either in the week. Maybe it's going to be next week. Who knows? But I, I just don't love the price of these cards, which kind of sucks because I really would like to buy a couple of these to try them out. I just can't believe that Griezmann is still 3 million coins. Maybe I'm completely missing the point here, but this card to me, uh, yes, it's a sick card. I absolutely love it, but I feel like this card should be 2 million coins flat and not 3.1. I think he's the most overpriced card in the team for me. I think Vinny is overpriced. I think Benzema is overpriced. Pedri, Militao. Uh, I think, you know what? The only card that I feel like is really fairly priced and for some reason seems to have a really high pack weight is Luka Modric. I'm surprised with how cheap Luka Modric is. 550k for a card that's better than his team of the year card that was 670k before this one even dropped on the game. So the fact that this one is 100k cheaper than his team of the year was, to me, it makes him feel a little bit cheap, especially with the maxed dribbling and the 99 passing stat as well. But you know, that just kind of seems to be kind of, I guess, the un unstable pack weight of this promo. And it just doesn't seem like most of these cards are getting packed a lot, which means I don't want to touch them too much in terms of trading and investing. So they could drop a little bit today with the icon pack as well, especially on the middle to lower tier. That could be your part of the market that is affected today. One thing I want to touch out on is are Saudi League Tots cards going to go up out of packs today, right? Romarino, Talishka, with the five-star skills, very in-demand players. They dropped off a lot yesterday. Full disclosure, I have picked up a couple of these under 300,000 coins just because I was like, this guy was 360. Romarino is pretty rare. I think I also picked up a Talisca at like 230-something because, I mean, he dropped off a ton. Dropped off a ton yesterday. And uh, yes, I know these guys are leaving packs, so that could mean with the Brazilian five-star skills um, and the links that, that Talisca and the Romarino have, they're really good. They're really fun to use. And I think also the Luis Gustavo, who a lot of people... Uh, which this expires today as well. Get it done if you have not because he is very, very cracked. I have to win six more games to get him done. Okay, that's not looking good. But I think a lot of people did this objective and he's rated really highly as an objective player. And if you're going to use him, it's really easy to use Talisca and Aroma Mourinho uh, as a part of the team as well. So I'm invested in a couple of those. Probably not going to hold on to them for super long, especially if the MLS team of season cards do look really good today on this game. So I'm expecting maybe a slight rise there. I guess if you want to buy Ronaldo, 
Uh, Ronaldo, I think, is still crazy expensive to me. I would not hold on to this card for very long as well. Just, I mean, all you have to do is go look at other high-tier Team of the Season cards and look at how they have done in price since they've left packs, and it's pretty poorly. They've just gone down. So, would not touch that one unless you're just wanting to use it for the team. Now, the last thing I want to talk about in today's video is this tweet that we saw yesterday from Foot Scoreboard tweeting out that there is a player of the season card design and we showed this and talked about it a couple of days ago because ea tweeted this they said the short list is in and there's a few top stars involved for the premier league player of the season award now the voting is still open right now if you click the link you can still go and vote you've got de bruyne holland odegaard kane rashford Saka, and trippier all up for this vote it would seem pretty obvious that with the season erling holland has had he's probably going to win this award right but the thing is, if they're adding a car design for this uh, award, that means we're potentially getting an SBC. And that is a sick car design right there, man. I mean, that is a really nice car design with a little trophy at the top, like the neon. It's definitely different. I mean, a lot of these are usually purple. If you go back to the previous years at the award winner design, um, he's probably going to win this award, right? So that's why a lot of people in the comments are like, this really isn't a prediction. It's kind of confirmed, right? And the reason why he's using the stats of the team of the season card for Holland in the prediction is the SBCs we had in days of old for player of the season cards were the exact same stats as the team of the season card that that player had, which I think may have attributed to a little bit why Erling Holland's Tots card is down an extra 300,000 coins from where it was. He's 3.7 mil. He was 4 million to start the day on Saturday, which worries me a little bit for the future of this card. If the hype continues to build, the voting is still going on. It might last for a while. So who knows? It's again, it is a prediction right now. It is only, I guess you could say, um, hype that is just building for the potential of this SBC. But if they're adding this into the code as a card design, either they're just trying to fool us right now and make us think that we're going to be getting an SBC like this, or they're actually going to drop this SBC and it, it's going to be crazy. So don't know when that would be, would be. We'll wait for updates. We'll probably wait for an official leak, maybe for the voting to close and for the award to be given out. But that would be an absolutely crazy SBC. And I would see I would have to think that EA would find some way to not release a Holland SBC that would be the exact same as his team of the season card. Maybe they make it like a 95 or a 93 Holland, kind of like how they did earlier this year when we had the Nkuku that was in the market as the path to glory uh, or wrote whatever it was, the World Cup live card. And then they dropped a full birthday SBC that was cheaper, right? So it was more affordable, so a lot more people could do it. So who knows? That's just kind of something to kind of stick in the back of your mind and be like, okay, this could potentially be happening in the next couple of weeks once that voting ends. So regardless, big Sunday today on this game. Icon packs, new TOTS cards, hopefully some hype. If you're excited for the Sunday content today, drop a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. I'll see you guys on Twitch stream today. It's been Nathan with Account. I'll catch you guys there. Peace out.